It's showtime! Hey, what's up, guys? Pitavali7 here, back doing another reaction video. This time it's to Hell of a Boss Season 2, Episode 2 Seeing Stars. Now, this came out at the time of recording this yesterday when I was working. Oh, no. Not when I was working, when I was gone all day because funeral and whatnot. I've gotten my days mixed up. It's been a weird week. And I did not get a chance to sit down and record the record or even watch this yesterday. So, fuck it. We're, we're seeing this now. I've been fairly interested in, in this for a while. Granted, I know nothing about it, but with what... Um, what do you call it? With what we were left on with the circus two months ago. I'm definitely curious. Let's, let's see. Fair enough. In the great expanse of the ah, Stolas. <laughs> I figured we'd be getting Stolas again. Phenomena, the great brilliance of an exploding star. The nimble dance of space dust through a nebula. But once every 1,000 years, our corner of reality is treated to an incredible sight. From the deep a meteor? rich recesses of the cosmos, the tears of a forgotten colossus begin to fall. Tears made of the hopes and dreams of every living thing that never came to be, condensed and sent shooting across the night sky. Dude, the animation for this looks so sick. What appears to mortal beings as a meteor shower, we can see for what it is. As a thoughts, tears. <laughs> Daddy, can we go see it someday? Ah, so glad we're getting a look at young Octavia again. And I will admit, I prefer this voice for young Octavia over the one that we first heard in Lulu Land. Like it, this just sounds a lot better in my opinion. No, no disrespect to the to the VA who did the voice for young Octavia in the and Lulu Land. Like you did the best you did a good job. It was a good voice, but this this voice to me just fits her a bit more. Yes, dear, I promise. When the day comes, nothing will be able to keep me from being there with you. Good night, my owlet. Good night. Are we getting back to Are we gonna immediate Yep. <laughs> Although a lot happier now. Dad? Or maybe not. Dad. Yes, I know. It will be there shortly. Of course they're being careful. Dad, what's going on? Apparently, your mother Dad, can't exist somewhere two minutes without the entirety of her possessions before she... What? No, I'm not turning her against you. You're... Yes, Stella. Dad, this is going to be done before tonight, right? What? Oh. I hardly think so. Knowing your mother, this will take all weekend. Don't be gentle about it now. Break whatever you have to to get it all in there. Oh, jeez. But tonight, <gasps> we're supposed to... Darling, can we not talk about this now? Your mother's being a real B-I-T-C-H. Really? Stop. Well, how was I supposed to know you can spell? I've never seen you read. Oh no. God, I, I feel bad for Octavia. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, wow, a good throw, honey. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Why? About, honey? <sighs> oh, let's finally talk to her about her attitude with clients. I, I just think some small oh, no. might help you be more of a uh, people person, you know? I am a people person. If I'm so terrible, how about you just grow a pair and replace me? Okay, well, maybe I... Maybe I might. What? Maybe I will, little <laughs> missy. Yeah, that's right. It's tough love time. So now Oh fucking hell. <sighs> Sir, 
If I may say God so, damn it, Octavia. Doing the right thing. If we can't even hire a cheerful qualified receptionist, Octavia, I'll you're not sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> she just don't fucking care. Take me to see the stars. Oh, okay. Um, sir? The fuck? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, dear lord. Jesus Christ. is good, but it is not that good, Moxie. <laughs> Sir, I don't think we really have a choice. So, what, you want me to just call him up and be like, hey, Stolas, so your daughter came by, took your book, and teleported off to who the fuck knows where? We have no way of getting either of them back, okay? Okay, good talk. Bye. Wow, that actually went better than I thought. Oh, fuck. Hey, do you... Can you help? How, how do I get... I, I, excuse me, I just need to know where I can... See the stars. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yes. That's not what you want, Octavia. How could like this the... happen? Do you just let anyone waltz into your office and grab infinitely powerful artifacts? Why would she do this? How are we supposed to find her? Where would she go? Well, it reeks of urine and desperation, so. Ugh. L. A. What? <laughs> All right, Luna, let's make this quick in and out before anyone notices us here. Oh, this doesn't look much different from hell. All right, now let's get to work. Looney, sniff. How am I supposed to smell anything in this city? Can't you even do one thing right? Can't you finally do something about how fat you are? I'm not. You know, it wouldn't kill you to put a salad in your body every now and then. What? Fuck off, I'm guys. <laughs> now, first things first. If we're going to do this the old-fashioned way, we're going to need disguises. Oh yeah, they have you. Well, I knew she had you. Oh, that's oh, okay. So that's what Stolas looks like. <laughs> no chance you can conjure us a couple of those, can you? Sadly, no. I'm afraid without my grimoire, my powers are just a tad limited in the human world. What, you can't memorize your fucking spells? Oh, your memory's so great. What's his phone number? Fuck you. <laughs> exactly. Hey, little man, God damn it. check out this demo right here. This is premium grade A fire right here. Perfect for you to crank with the little lady. Oh, wow. You made this? Thank <laughs> you. Hey, 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 hold up a Fuck sec. Fuck off. You just gonna grab it and go? <laughs> he said thank you. 20 bucks, man. Millie, we need <laughs> money to pay this talent. God artist. damn it. You <laughs> can just give it back, Ma. <gasps> Millie. These artists put their heart and soul into their work. I can't just give it back like it's worthless. It probably is. Sick demon costume, man. It's metal <laughs> as fuck. I have an idea. Whoa. Oh, hey, 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 come back. God damn it, Moxie. I have an idea. <laughs> Moxie, you're not fucking smooth. <sighs> You'll see the home of one of those influencers. Oh, oh he's who back. Their hot shit because now they do TV shows. <laughs> so? The fuck? Look, everyone. It's Hollywood star Brandon Rager. The fuck is a Brandon Rager? Oh, God. Oh, God. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God damn it, Brandon. God damn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, to be fair, at least everyone seems to be in... Seems to be fucking enjoying Millie and Moxie singing. I will kill for you until the day I'm sorry, my fucking neck did not like that. Holly's wood? God damn it. <laughs> I mean, I know you can't say... You can't have it be Hollywood, I guess, but... God damn it. And here you are, my fellow troubadour. Whatever, man. Get the fuck out of here. You're cramming my business. <laughs> Up to before. Hey, wanna buy some art? The fuck? Yes! Oh no. Mr. Ragers, we've been looking for you everywhere. You were supposed to be on set an hour ago. The fuck are you talking about? Your guest spot on. Sweetie, I'm in the house. We're taping the night. Now hurry up and get in the car. Oh, no, 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 Love that no, no, just looked like a standard fucking pop-up ad. Up I legit was about to go hit the fucking X button. It's like, oh wait, no, this is part of the episode. Come on, boy. Come on. Get your fucking hands off me. Luna stole his little help here. God damn it. Excuse me, sir. I'm Mr. Rage's agent. And I don't believe you can just... Oh, God, no. You are strong. Blitz, we don't have time for this. Thea could be anywhere. She could be in danger. Don't worry, I'm on it. Judy, go find Thea. We'll catch up soon. Yeah, we to be a team player, <laughs> She's in great hands. Oh. Good to see you just don't give a fuck, Thea. Starstruck. Okay. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Let's get him ready. He's on in five. What? Five what? I, I can't be on a sitcom. Should have had an ego crisis before signing the contract. I, 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 whoa, I don't even know the fucking lines, idiot. Well, that's why God invented teleprompters. <laughs> he rehearse or something? No can do, we're live in ten, nine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And, uh, I, I, I can't do this, no, not again. I, I haven't performed since. Blitz, if your performance on stage is half as good as it is in bed, you'll leave them breathless. Oh, Jesus now, Christ. Them so we can get back to finding Via. Break a leg, darling. God damn it, Stolas. <laughs> well, if it isn't our neighbor, Ronnie. You feel that earthquake earlier? Yeah. Say something. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was just my Ow. wife rolling out of bed. <laughs> Seriously, laugh anyway. <laughs> oh man, I really hope that. I really hope that doesn't fucking affect to affect Blitz too bad. Oh shit. What are you doing now? <laughs> okay. I don't know why I thought she was about to just throw that shit at someone. <laughs> Wait, can't you just... Isn't Luna able to just get via scent? Ah, the observatory, okay. Fifth couch this year. 
Oh, man. You know, maybe it's about time I found you a new home. One that could put up with your attitude. I can take him, Mr. Ronnie. I'd be happy to adopt old Uggy and give him the attention he needs. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you should adopt. Aw, they're all so cute. And they're sad. Maybe you could adopt this one here. Yeah. Quite a strong lad. He'll be perfect for whatever work you want to use him for. Oh, no, Jesus. I'm not looking for no ugly walker. I need something that's more family friendly. I guess Luna. for the wife, huh? No problem. We have a nice selection of other hounds. Who's that? Oh, her. That's just Luna. What a nightmare. A serious attitude problem. She'll be out of our hair next month when she ages out. Good riddance, if you ask me. She'll never amount oh, to anything. Poor Luna. Much. No. No, no, you, you can't have her. She's mine and I love her. But Mr. Ronnie, you gotta let me have the puppy. You just gotta. Don't you touch her, you little anal fissure. Jesus. Oh, you think this is funny, assholes? She's not fit to be a mother. I saw her doing lines of coke in her dressing room. Now, uh, Ronnie, I think maybe you should. Ow! You can't have my baby, bitch. I'll never get rid of her. <laughs> Just, oh shit! <laughs> oh god! Oh, Blitz! What are you doing? I'm coming, Blitz. Excuse me. Would you mind? Oh, oh no! The fuck? Let it burn. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Now let's go find our daughters. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, fuck. Oh, hi, Via. Hey. Hey. How did you find me? Your Instagram. Nice pics, by the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you okay? I can't believe I was so stupid. I spent all day looking for a place where I can see some dumb meteor shower. And all I get is this. Yeah, Smog's a bitch. Really, Luna? <laughs> Nice. You know, your dad's really worried about you. Right, that's why you're here instead of him. He couldn't be bothered to keep his promise, and now he can't be bothered to come and get me himself. He'd rather spend his time just screaming at my mum. Why does he hate her more than he loves me? <sighs> Sometimes... Sometimes it's not as simple as that. This kind of shit gets messy. Everybody's got issues, especially dads. And sometimes they fuck up. Well, all the time. That doesn't mean they don't care. If he cares, where is he? He's somewhere down there. He's here? Looking for you. I mean, try to cut your dad some slack. He may not always get it right, but... He's trying. Fair. <laughs> That's more important than you think. You ready to go? <laughs> Fucking back crack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the fucking. Now, if we can just find where. <laughs> Oh, Luna, my sweet baby girl, I'm so sorry. I'll never replace you no matter what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dad, so sorry. I'm just relieved you're okay. But what would possess you to do such a thing? You know I haven't taught you spells like this yet. 
I just wanted to see the stars you promised. The stars? <gasps> Azathoth's tears. Oh, no. Oh, my dear sweet Leah. I am so... I know, Dad. It's okay. You're here now. <laughs> what the fuck is that? My acting career. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> gone up to sh it's gone to fucking flames and everything god damn it <laughs> march mister uh. Moxie couldn't even have his stuff. <laughs> God damn it. And you set my soul alight. I'm a flame with love. So my dove you see. You're the sweet rots in past you. On my heart as it decays. You're the stench of evil clinging to my every dying day. I love Millie's singing You're voice, the actually. In every song. You're the reason nothing's ever wrong. You're the first thing that I think of when I wake anew to kill again. You're my lovely little monster, and I'll never say goodbye. I will kill for you until the day we die. Yeah, I. I liked that. That was nice. That was nice. I mean... Uh, Octavius steals a grimoire and things sure do happen. Fair enough. Like, I'll admit, I it's weird to see the problem that with... Stolas and Blitz just kind of get thrown under the rug here. But it still wasn't bad. Like, this this was a good episode. I think I prefer episode one, personally. But this was not a bad episode. Definitely a damn... We're still getting some pretty good ones in, se in season two. I'm definitely looking forward to season... Not season to episode three whenever that eventually comes out within the next few months to a year I guess, but yeah um thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe down below it's got a Gary and John XU Hexic and I am Sick Flows with the links in the description um follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash pitiful alloy seven yeah thanks for watching I'm pitiful alloy seven I'll see you guys in the next one peace out. <laughs>